Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's see how the equation we derived in the previous video works in this example. So let's say we're given a point in space and the equation of a plane. Now it's not quite in the right format, so let's write it in the right format. So this equation can be written as 2x minus 3y plus 6z and that would be plus 1 equals 0 and so the general equation looks like this ax plus by plus cz plus d equals 0. And notice that this is the numerator in our equation, except instead of x, y, and z, we're going to plug in the actual coordinates of the point that's given, which is right over here. And notice that a, b, and c can also be found right here. Those are the, the components or the magnitudes of the components of the perpendicular vector. So the distance between that point that's given and the plane defined by that equation is equal to a, which is 2, times x sub naught, which is 1, plus b, in this case it's minus 3, and uh, let's see here, y sub naught, which is minus 4, plus c, which is 6, and z sub naught, which is minus 3, and then we have to add plus d, and d is equal to 1. So that's why you want to write it in this format so you realize the sine of d in this case is plus 1, not negative 1. And that's of course a 0. And then we're going to take the whole thing and divide it by the square root of the sum of the squares of the components of the perpendicular vector a, b, and c. So a is equal to 2, so we get 2 squared, plus b, which is a negative 3 squared, plus c, which is 6 squared. All right, simplifying this, what do we get? And of course, we don't want to write equal to zero. <laughs> that doesn't belong there. Okay, so we have d is equal to 2 plus 12 minus 18 plus 1 all divided by the square root of 4 plus 9 plus 36. So d is equal to minus 18 and of course again what we need to be careful of is that this distance right here this has to be a positive magnitude so we need to make sure we put absolute value signs there because the distance it cannot be a negative distance it's got to be positive distance so again we need to take the positive value of that so 2 plus 12 is 14 that's 15 minus 18 that's minus 3 so the absolute value of minus 3 divided by this is going to be the square root of uh, let's see here, that's uh, 49, which of course is equal to 3 divided by 7. And this here is the distance between that point that was given and the plane. Again, why did I put absolute value signs on that? Because we want a positive distance. It's simply from a vector perspective, if you're pointing opposite direction, you get a negative value, but here we don't care. We simply care about the magnitude of that distance, and so we put absolute value signs to make sure we get the positive answer. And that is how it's done.